Hey everybody, it's Rodev, and in this episode, we're going to be spawning players at their stage when they die. So for example, when I die right now, I'm not going to spawn at stage 2. I'm going to spawn at this spawn location, and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to be scripting it so that you spawn right at the stage part. Along with that, we're also going to be scripting an R to reset, so anytime you can press R and you'll reset and spawn at your stage part. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and set the respawn time to 0. It's really annoying having to wait to respawn, so we're just going to make that 0. Once you're done that, go ahead and open up the leader stat screen. Inside this script, go to this line, and we're going to be creating a new event. So player, uh, character, appearance loaded, colon, connect function. And basically what we're going to be doing inside this function, after you press enter and it creates an end, we're going to be setting the player's position after they spawn. So basically when they spawn, we're going to be setting their position right here. So make sure right here you actually get their character model by typing char. It can be anything, but we're just going to use char. So in here, go ahead and do local hrp equals char colon wait for child humanoid root part make sure you type it exactly like this if there are any spelling mistakes it's not going to work the capitals also have to be followed so make sure you have the hrnp capitalized now let's go ahead and set the position of the hrp but for that we are going to be needing access to their stage value so go ahead and type local lds for leader stats equals tlr colon wait for child leader stats once you're done that go ahead and type local stage equals lds colon wait for child stage once we're done this all we have to do is go ahead and move the hrp to the stage now let's go ahead and create a folder where we can store all of these stage parts so go ahead and click plus and create a folder call this folder stage parts now let's drag our part inside and name the part 2 now let's create a variable for our new folder local parts folder equals workspace colon wait for child stage parts once you're done that, go ahead and create a variable for the part inside the stage folder. So local part equals parts folder colon find first child. And right here, all we have to type is stage dot value. Now let's go ahead and set the position of the HRP, the humanoid root part, to the part and a little bit above it. So all we have to do is go ahead and type HRP dot position equals part dot position plus vector 3 dot new now we're just going to move it up a little bit so 0 comma 5 comma 0 now when the player dies they're going to respawn at the stage they're at but a little bit above it so they don't get stuck inside the part real quick guys make sure you add task.wait 0.1 right here so that it waits for a second for the game to load and then it teleports us over there the players won't be able to notice this much of a difference now that i'm in let's go ahead and reset character as you can see i respawned right here and everything's working. Now let's go ahead and script that R to reset. So inside starter GUI, go ahead and create a new local script. Name this local script something like R to reset. Inside this local script, let's go ahead and get a variable for user input service. Local UIS equals game colon get service user input service. Once you have that, go ahead and do UIS dot input began colon connect function. And inside this function area, we need to get a parameter for the input object. So just go ahead and type key and then let's go ahead and type t. Now type if not t then, press enter, and it'll come up like this. There should be another end. Once you're done that, do if key dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot r then. Now inside here, all we have to do is go ahead and reset the character. So to do this, what I'm going to be doing is getting a variable for the player's character. So local plr equals game.players.localplayer and now local char equals plr.character now what i'm going to do is check if the character exists so if char then now i'm going to find the humanoid and set its health to zero so if char then char dot humanoid dot health equals zero and now go ahead and close off that script hit play and try pressing r as you can see when i press r i die I immediately die and respawn, and it's really convenient if you're falling out of the sky. All you have to do is go ahead and click R, and you'll be back right here. Now let's create some text on the screen that says R to reset. This is really easy, just click plus in starter GUI, create a screen GUI, and inside the screen GUI, create a text button. And inside the screen GUI, go ahead and create a text label. Go ahead and move this text label somewhere in the middle of the screen, and set the text to something like press R to reset. Once you're done, let's go ahead and customize it. Go ahead and set the background transparency to 1, and I'm going to be changing my font. I'm going to be using the Gotham font, but you guys can use anything you like. Let's set the text color to white, and set the 
the text stroke transparency to 0.3 and make sure the text stroke color is black. Once you're done that, go ahead and make sure you have text scaled set to true and you're pretty much done. You can just have this in the middle of the screen and it'll let the players know that they can press R to reset at any time. Now, one really important thing that we should be doing is setting a stage part for players who just spawned in. This will be the default spawn point for players who are new to your game. So go ahead and create a new stage part and name it 1. Inside here, we need to change the stage number to 1 and after that, all we have to do is go ahead and close off that script and new players will spawn right here. My stage is currently saved as 2, so I will spawn at that part right here. There we go. And that's pretty much how this stage spawning system works. If I reset, I'm going to spawn right here. And if I quickly set my stage to 1, you'll see that when I reset, I actually spawn at the other part. As you can see, when I reset, I spawn right here. And I'm back here. Now my stage will be saved at 1, and when I rejoin, it'll be 1 again. That's pretty much it for this part. In the next episode, we're going to be building more of the obby and scripting some kill bricks. So when you step on them, you die. So I'll see you guys in that part. Make sure you click the video on screen right now to see it. I'll see you guys in that video. Peace.